Hello. In this video, I am going to tell you how to identify between convex lens and concave lens and uh, also convex mirror and concave mirror. So, first method is by touching. So, this is the first I am taking the mirror. So, if I touch it and I feel a slight depression in its reflecting surface, then it is a concave mirror. And if a mirror, when we touch it and it appears to bulge out, then it is a convex mirror. So in this way, we can say by looking it and by touching it, we can identify that which mirror is convex, which mirror is concave. In the same way, if we touch a lens and it is depressed in the middle, then it is a concave lens. And if it is bulged out in the middle, then it is a convex lens. And by looking at it, we can also identify like it is bulged out and it is little bit depressed in, you can see. So this is the one method. Other method is by, actually these are two methods, by seeing and by touching. Other method is by comparing their image formation. So <clears throat> you can see here, there's an object placed behind this lens. And if we move it backward, its size goes on decreasing and it is always an erect image. So uh, remember one thing, concave lens always produce an erect image and that's too smaller in size and it goes on uh, decreasing its size when we move object away. We are moving object away and actually on other side we can see that object is moving away but here its image we appear that its image getting smaller and smaller so this is the property of concave lens so here you can see this time uh, this is the size of object and now i am moving it backward You can see its size increases and this time it is extremely, extremely, extremely large so you can see it is blurred now and uh, now, oh, okay, a little bit uh, appearing and uh, all right, so actually it is far now and I'm, and I'm going there, so you can see it is inverted now. And now I'm moving it backward and you can see now it is giving inverted image. So and the conclusion is uh, the lens, uh, this time lens is producing uh, first erect image then when uh, we have moved object away uh, it start becoming enlarged then uh, it uh, was about to disappear and then it become inverted. So there are different uh, sizes and nature of image and uh, the lens which produces that is uh, convex lens. So it means convex lens um, for concave lens earlier we used concave lens uh, that was producing only erect image and uh, that was going on decreasing when we were moving object away. But in case of convex lens first it was giving an erect image enlarged also, enlarged erect image and when we moved it further away then it was uh, getting larger and larger and later it become inverted. So this is how we can distinguish between convex lens and concave lens. Now mirror. So here we have this mirror and it is forming this object's image. You can see and if I move this object away from this mirror Still it is erect image and it is going on decreasing. Well, actually I have to arrange these angles in such a way so that uh, you can see clearly both the object and mirror. So that is why it is very, it is not at the center, but on little bit sidewise. 
So, but still you can see, object is going on decreasing, uh, uh, image is going on decreasing. So if, uh, how we can um, identify that it is a convex mirror, if object placed in front of it gives uh, image which is going on decreasing when we move object away. So here you can see there's another mirror and I have placed object and its image is there, erect image. But when I move it further away, uh, I have to adjust this. Yeah, you can see now it is enlarged, erect but enlarged. So what was having, uh, what was uh, the nature in uh, convex mirror, convex mirror was also producing erect image but that was smaller in size and it is producing enlarged image. And if I move it further away, so you can see it is going on increasing, size is increasing. And uh, okay, there will be a condition when, oh, see, it is highly magnified. And if we further move it away, so you can see, oh, so here uh, it has gone that way. And now um, I have to adjust its height. So you can see it is inverted now. It is inverted now. So this is what happens with concave mirror. So in concave mirror, when object is close to mirror, then image is um, erect but enlarged. And when we move object away, image becomes larger and larger, and then uh, beyond a certain limit, it becomes inverted. So this is how we can distinguish between convex mirror and concave mirror. And also earlier, a uh, few minutes ago, uh, I told you how to distinguish between convex lens and concave lens.